I'm somewhere between an activist and an actress and the mother of the poor and a grandmother and a mother and a wife. Uh, but I've spent the last uh, 20 years of my life in an acting career that spans film, stage, television, and i um, just glad to be here. Uh, first of all, I love black classics, and this is a classic in our community of, among uh, Mr. Gaines and, and others like him, like Ted Shine, and um, have, have been writing uh, our stories for ourselves, which I think is critical. I think the character in this play is what drew me to the play because of her earnest desire to bring some dignity to death, as wrongful as it may be. And as we know, many of our sons have been shot down the streets of America. This young man in this play represents that archetype to me. Miss Emma has done a lot for the Pichot family. <laughs> and she will let them know in a minute, I have done a lot for you. And her initial introduction in the play, of course, is her going to this very wealthy family and telling them what she wants to happen for her godson who's been arrested wrongfully for murder. I think many of our mothers and grandmothers have done a lot for white families in this country and many times didn't get what they deserve for that work. So she represents those women to me, and she is doggedly determined that her godson would die with dignity and not, as she says, as he was, you know, I want to give, be too much of a spoiler on the play, but I like a hog, not like a hog, not like a, a dog but he would die with dignity. So she goes and lifts uh, this request up before the Pichot family, goes to the jail, tells the sheriff what she's gonna do, who she's gonna bring in to see him, what she's gonna bring him to eat, <laughs> and basically takes over the short time of life he has left before he, he goes uh, supposedly to the electric chair. I think it's important for today because we all want to have some influence over what happens to our sons. Whether they are incarcerated and there is an incredibly disparate number of black men in jail. And so what do you do when one of your sons is arrested and he's innocent? Do you sit by silently and say, you know, woe is me, or do you act upon your instincts to get involved and defend him? Even though she knows she can't get him released, she can at least, as she said, have him walk like a man. And that is our goal for our sons, to have them walk like men. I think people should come and see this play, one, because it is an African-American classic, of which there are few and far between being done here in Atlanta especially. Two, because it reaffirms the power of the African American woman in our society as it relates to raising their sons and having them be men when the man may be absent. Three, she teaches this young teacher, Grant, that he, she, and other black women save their nickels and dimes to put him through college. And when we do that, don't we owe our community something? Or do we get our education and just go our way and let our community lay in squalor without having any input? And she tells him and lets him know clearly, yes, you do have a responsibility to come back and teach these children from whence you've come. <laughs>